Hello and welcome to a new video. In this video, we are going to do some SQL injection attacks using OASP Zap Fuzzer. We are doing some attacks against Matilde. Matilde is, um, is an open source project from OASP. It's a vulnerable web application which you can practice your security testing uh, skills. It has multiple vulnerabilities and you can you can use it from GitHub or you can also use it from use one of the, their Docker images. We are going to use this. This one is hosted locally on my my computers. Uh, we are going to to try the login functionality, as it's uh, vulnerable to SQL injection. So let's get started. Let's copy this one. Copy the URL and then open OASP. That. And before we try our our test, let's um, we have to um, you have to download. Or add from the from the marketplace what's called the FuzzDB. This one, FuzzDB files. It's it's file that you can that contains a, a preloaded patterns that you can use to uh, attack, <clears throat> do some some custom attacks to the web application under test. It's already installed on my on my OS version, but you 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 should find it in your marketplace. Uh, so let's. <clears throat> Let's go to the manual explore, um, paste the URL that's already copied, launch a browser, because I want to do specific attack. I will try to log in with invalid username and password, and then try to uh, run some tests against vulnerable payloads. We can, we can, we are going to use SQL injection patterns uh, as a payload to, to make sure that, or to discover if there is SQL, in, SQL injection vulnerability or not. Let's launch the browser. Okay, the site is loaded. I will go to login register. I will put random usernames and password. Let's do it test and test one, two, three. Um, it's, it's, not, uh, it's not mandatory to be successful logins, but I, I, I only need the request to be uh, landed and to, to be able to run some custom, uh, some custom attacks. By pressing login, account does not exist, not a problem. Now the browser is closed. Let's uh, remove the things that's not related to the site under test. Uh, all of these are uh, Firefox services. Uh, you can find that we have this call. If you take up the request, this is the login which we have tried with username test and password test one, two, three. I will try to do some fuzz here I'll by right right click attack. You can you have here what is called fuzz. In this pop up, I will choose which part of the request I want to fuzz or I want to send some uh, custom payloads. I will choose the username, the test value, and then I will go to add. From add, I will select add, and then you can find that we have something called file fuzzers. And the FuzzDB, the one I uh, uh, I told you to install in the beginning, is here. And I have to check the attack I need. So him from attack, let's look for a SQL injection. And yes, it's here. This is SQL injection patterns. As you can see, all these patterns are SQL injection, injection patterns that if you have um, SQL injection vulnerability, this sh should be working. Then press add and OK. And then by, by, by selecting or by pressing start fuzzer, you will the, the tool will try to repeat the same request but with different payloads. That's that, yeah, we can start now. There, there is a new tab, it's a fuzzer tab. And here, as you can see, let me expand this a little. Here we have what's called reflected value. When you have reflected, that means that from the tool point of view, the, the pattern is worked. So we have the same request, the same pattern in the request are available in the response. So if I checked one of the reflected values, you can see here that we have an exception. This is MS, MS, MySQL handler. 
with with some errors. That means that this this login form is vulnerable for SQL injection. And not every reflected will be working uh, in not only in Zap but most of the uh, the pen testing tools. We have what's called uh, false positive. That when the tool thinks I will assume that they have an issue or uh, they found discovered the vulnerability but it's not so we have to make sure that every reflected one is yeah it's all is is for true or for for sure a vulnerable um a working uh pattern that's reflected to the system we can check also by by choose render html and if you can see here we have exception occurred this in multi-date which uh, multi-day mean that there is an exception this worked uh, yes and by this you you should wait till till the end uh, not every time you will find it reflected to alerts because in fuzzer yes we have a sql injection attack a successful sql injection attack but in alerts it's still not here um that's yeah that's one of the things about the custom payloads that you have to to select it manually and also to track it manually. But yes, if I open one, more than one of the reflected, this means that this, um, um, this login form is vulnerable and uh, of the pattern we have tried uh, is worked. You will, yeah, you will have to wait till this is ended uh, and then yes, you can put it in your report the in the request you can find the pattern this was the pattern used in the in the username field the password field will be the same as we only choose chose to to attack with one of the parameters and also you can respond you can log your response so have now you have the, the type of vulnerability you know that you have a sql injection you have the request the url and the request the total url and the request the the body i mean and you have a vulnerable response or, or a proof that you are vulnerable to SQL injection by this, by copying and pasting this body, or also by a, take a screenshot or or have a copy of the of this render that we have an exception. So the SQL injection happened. Uh, yeah, this was it. I hope you find this useful. Yeah, and see you in other videos.